Welcome to Simon Tools again. Today we're gonna do the Toyota Hi Ace 2000 models. We're gonna re replace the clutch kit. First of all, we have to remove the top shop before you do anything else. So we need the heat bottle, heat gas bottle, and some spanner. I need and uh, go underneath, check up the car, and remove the four bolts that holding into the top shop first. And then we put it down and we go to the front. And bolts are out so we can remove the top shop and put the top shop beside so the top shop is out and put it down and then we can remove the top shop out and put on the side here and uh, you can start to put the jack out and go underneath so put the top shop beside here it wouldn't hurt to put underneath the car and now you can put the car down and then you can check up the front put the stand on that one and then we gotta remove the gearbox mouth and then just falling down like that and you can take up the gearbox you can go ahead and need put that one there stop the oil coming out we remove this one and let the engine tilt out that way and you got plenty of hand to remove the gearbox here so you can remove this one first if you want or this crappy out this one remove from the bolt and put it on the side as you can see the same with place in leaking oil so when we replace the clutch, we have to buy a rear main seal and replace for him as well. So make sure I do a good job and uh, it lasts forever. I mean it lasts longer, not forever, huh? nothing lasts forever. You have to remove the starter motor as well. So the two bolt holding starter motor and all this one go on one side. Our starter motor is out, you can just leave it there, don't worry about it. So it's loose now, all this you can leave it there now, this one, and the gearbox will fall down. Alright, you got to this side and you can remove the bolt for the linkage. One, two bolt, and remove the linkage out, and it clear up that way the gearbox. So, see the linkage holder, one, two, three, four, five, six bolt, and remove the one, uh, one this side, and this one remove that side, and the gearbox free. For holding the linkage brackets, it's not easy to get it out. So, number 14, make sure you got the right tools, right? Make sure you got the right tools. And, I break uh, Your linkage is out, just leave it on the side here. It's not touching the gearbox on the way you're working on it. Now you can chop the gearbox there. And one socket, number 19. I put the jack underneath here, jack it up a little bit, and then you remove this one, remove this bolt out, remove it out, and then you can chop it down, and you can see plenty of hand in there. For the gearbox, so you know where it's go, go behind here. So you don't mix them up. Now, you can go to the front, put the jack down a little bit, and it will fall down, and then I do you show you next tricks. Pulling down, not much we do, that's all you need. You want to make it easy, you can remove this four, number 12, take this one off, and later we put it back on. So that's enough enough room for you to remove the gearbox. So take number 12, one, two, three, four, and take this uh, gearbox mouse out. 17, number 10, 17 out, 17 out. One more here, just for time being, just do one or two turn back in and we go out of sight just in case it's falling on your face, okay? And we got one, two, three, this side, okay? We're gonna get that uh, really hard to go in here, you have to use in the your hand. So, out, and if you have something like this, so you put all the nuts and bolts on one side on each side. Whenever you take up one which side, you put on one side, okay? So you, when you put back, it's gonna be correct. And uh, this one I meant to be for the uh, for my bike, for serving my bike, but it's working on this one too. So why not, okay? Pump it up and let it go. 
I hope this one work okay. So, for someone who got it at home, who got this will be handy. If not, we have to do some different method. Like uh, we hang a we hang a chain. You cover the chains, hang around here, and hang one here, one here, and you move the gearbox back. By that case, in um, you can do it by yourself. But if you got this one, you better use it. Why not? Okay. So this one go in there. Now you can try to move the gearbox, and it can be fall down there. Good drivers, but I don't have a big one. I have very little one. So I take it easy. I do put one there. Put it there and shake the back. See, it come up easy. Just because that practice holding back, it cost me time. Don't worry, I'm happy. It's not that hard, you know. Gotta be patient. Do it slowly, and we'll be alright. Okay. Now pull back a little bit. Put this one back a little bit. See this one? You can pull wherever you want. Just leave it there. Just leave it there. Don't touch it. Now you can. You can have your hand blending up rooms to remove the clutch. So once you replace this one, replace the thought bearings, main seal, and the heavy duty clutch. This is the working car, very heavy. So I using Japanese heavy duty, heavy duty. So this one thrust bearing, the new one, spigot bearing, new one and the rear main seal so we're gonna take it up and install them in tools you don't want to slip in this one so make sure 100% gotta come out see this one one turn gotta come out you see someone who already before see see this one see this one already worn out see you're using wrong tools using wrong tools for the wrong jobs so gotta be careful okay it's, if it's split it's very hard for someone else to do next time so make sure it's all in 100% see this one not the star okay so undo all of them open them out now you can see it's free not a big worry okay put on here and uh, later oh my god I don't think this one have any bolts here but later when you put it back make sure put some Loctite too huh now I move the hand or better move this one along here put in here later we put it back so I don't lose all that bolt just go around here if I got two hands I can hold it there I can hold it there and let it go just let it go let it go one side okay then the, the pressure of the clutch you push it out that's why see so I got one two three yeah okay it's been a very hard working car. Very hard working car. See, split. 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 Undo this one by uh, your big impact gun. Uh, and I have to go somewhere now. So maybe do the next time. Get too lazy, man. See the crack here? See the presser? See, crack out the gearbox here. Oh, sorry, crack out the clutch here. It's a uh, excess it's heavy duty too, but it's all crack. Too much pressure. See, all crack burn. All burn, crack here. Uh, take off the flywheel. You gotta remove this one. Put in here. Make sure I put a new one every time, okay? You don't wanna hear any bad noise. Right, go out. That's how to get in. So there, there, and the clip. The clip here is holding that one. It should be alright, see? Slide in this way and remove the clips holding the forks like that. Okay, gone. So you have to remove by if you cut the inner bearing pulley, you pull it, you put them on and pull it out. Other way, you have to get something to get it out. Okay, you can make something up if you have don't have tools. So remove the inner bearing out, Spike bearing out by slam hammer. Okay. This spigot bearing give me hard time. All my tools are fail, shit tools, wouldn't work. So what I have to do is try to get this spigot bearing out. It's a pain in the ass. I using my old school technique. Get the bolt that's a little bit smaller than this side and grab them up with the with the sticker. Now we have to do a patient. 
put more grease in fill up the hole put plenty of grease in until the hole is full and you're using that pin to knock it in to make hydraulic push the bearing out okay we try maybe not full maybe it's full so we may have to do a bit of go in first and then maybe have to fill it in later so we have to fill up more fill it in more if you can as much as you could okay now you feel a bit hot press on the boat so snap 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 okay look like we have to fill up more grease it start to come out okay oh, I got so hand gotta keep doing it uh, it's coming out now slowly we get them fill up more grease 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 don't let my daughter know this one I'm playing with the grease she complaining okay fill up more Oh, okay. Okay. Look like I have to uh, put a bit of extra. See, come out. See, come out. See, it's really close here. We're gonna make one more turn of the sticky tape on here and make more pressure. And it should come out. Wait, wait for me, okay? I got more in. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's too big. Okay, come out, boys. Okay. You gotta fill up more, more grease. Gotta get you out today, buddy. I never give up. I try until I get you out. I have no other choice. Okay. Oh, my hand. See you out here. See that far. Patient. Okay, I got you out, baby. Oh, falling down my hand bang done that's my old technique and it's worked very well see that how you remove the spigot bearing and full heaps of grease in here I put it back in the jar to install the uh, bearing spigot bearing and now just put some spigot bearing on just to keep up with the time the rain is nearly coming so we have to finish this one quick Okay, don't put too much grease around here and make sure clean with the greaser super clean you don't want any grease coming out here okay you make sure make sure you line them on first and you will see which one go which okay for example this one go first right it's gonna be in fall on fit on the pin you're gonna turn one pin up on the target and one pin right there just lift any pin right there okay all we have to do is pull it out with all the six bolts and nuts here we're gonna take it up and we're gonna put a little bit of plug tight show you the tricks you don't get too much heavy and when you lift up the clutch okay all you do is light up follow the mark the pin make sure all the pin are on pin so see this one just put one top one right there just one or two turn, one or two turn. That's it. And then you can pull backward like that, and it's holding there for you. For the clutch, for the clutch, see the deep side and the shallow side. See the shallow side always go inside. The shallow deep side go outside. If you put the shallow deep side go inside when you press it, it still work. But this wheel touching the bolt where the flywheel is. So the deeper side always go back out. And all you have to do is just slide it in, just slide it in like that. See, make sure the deeper side outside, okay? And just like that. And you gonna put all the bolts and nuts on just for leaving there for one or two turns. Make sure always you lock tight because uh, you know the long term spinning, it will come up, trust me. Okay, now if you got alignment, will be good. If you don't have one, so make sure. You must have alignment when you buy a kit they come with the alignment okay so that's the alignment for it see it should be going there all we have to do is to drop some of this later later i'm gonna use my little impact guns so make it go in quicker 
you can do by hand but it takes too long so make sure every single one of them must have lock tight okay lock tight lock tight lock tight okay so that's simple way so very good oh this is heavy duty clutch every time you replace please put heavy duty because this car working really hard so now before you tight just make sure push your hand press again the speak the speak bearing so that can be light up the the flywheel for you the clutch so the clutch just turn them slowly so make sure that in evenly because it's presser press the spring in so they go in evenly so your hand always push strong again here so it can light up the clutch for you don't move your hand that's it just go you know, on and on you need to be light up That's it. So make sure, check again. Check again. So you don't want it too hot. You're gonna like. Okay. Don't want too hot. You may break the bolt. Okay, it's all on. As you can see, they're all level here too. Now you can remove this one. So I got a bit of grease in there, that's good. Clean them up. Okay, and then gearbox in. Now I have to go get something to eat first. I'm hungry, man. Before you put the gearbox back in together, so um, the thick side here, the thick side of the clutch, they come out this way, and the short side of the clutch go in that way. All of the nuts and bolts are secure with lock tight, and all nice and clean. So now we're gonna slide the gearbox back in. So I was surprised about the gearbox when they pull it out and no oil inside the gearbox at all. So later we have to put some more oil in for him. And now we're gonna slide him on. What do you mean? What's he mean? Chuck him up. Chuck him up. Oh, I have very handy tools, I didn't know. So well, this is the best. This is the best I ever had. So Better than using this uh, the change. So I go down here and try to light up the pin. Oh, well, like that, okay? Try to light up the pin. See the pin? See the pin here? Go along. The pin here, gotta go along in that hole. Light them up first and then we push in slowly. Okay. Go on. Where are you, Where are you man? Where are you, brother? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, now we're gonna move that one there, the linkage, brackets, whatever it is. So we're gonna push it up a little bit more, chuck it up, chuck it up more, and push it in a little bit, and now chuck it up a little bit more, using my leg, push it up, and there's the, the balance of the gearbox there, slide them in. Slide them on. Beautiful. Now show you the gearbox up and then try to slide them in. It's still right. Very lucky I have this. Very lucky I have this bike hoist. So actually, it seems to work very well. Okay. It's worked very well for me, I reckon. Okay, I don't hold my hand there. I get I cut myself. This one going okay, going there. Okay, we got the line now. All we have to do is go to the back, lift up the gearbox, and push it in slowly. No oil in the gearbox at all. Okay, let's see if it's on or not. Oh la la, it's on itself, see? It's on itself, see? Beautiful. See the pin there? The lock pin there? It looks like it's on itself. 
Okay. Beautiful. All right, turn. I just tick it, tick it, tick it. Okay. It's on, buddy. It's on. So now I have to put one bolt just holding there, and I go the other side and try to shake it in. So you can put one bolt here, just for time being, holding there, so they don't come up the line. Oh. So they don't come up the line. That's it. Now we turn, shake, shake, and push. And push it right up. Okay. Okay. See, it's online now. It's very close. Very close. So, uh, all on. Now we have to do is just put the bolt back on, and I will show you more. Bolt number 17 on first. Now I can bolt them on, and we do the 14 later. So thank you to the jacks. I meant to buy it for the uh, bike, not for the gearbox. So it's worked well. And you see the gearbox have no oil inside as well. So the gearbox is the oil here. Open up this one later and put oil until you can see the oil start to come out from the hole. So that means it's full. Make sure you got some lock tight and put the power shaft back on before you put the gearbox oil on. Okay, always lock tight, brother. Lock tight, lock tight. And then uh, we replace the fuel filter. Okay, now this one on. And make sure this one always on this way. One, two, two. It's here, now we're going to put some oil in the gear. Easy at that, okay? <sighs> Can you see the oil coming in? Oh, it's now it's full. That's all right. We go in some more. We go in some more. See how it go. Okay. If it really, you're lucky. So actually, it's full. So good news. It's full. So now we're gonna put the lid back on. That's it. Beautiful. So that's how you want it. Okay, tight, tight, and done. So for this car, it punched on the jaw as well. I run that right there, in there. So what we have to do is go underneath on this this side and try to put your hand underneath the engine. Try to take it up if you can. Okay. So you better boot a bolt where the fuel line in this line this way. Pull it out. Take it out and lift this one here and the bottom washer, make sure bottom washer is out here too. So leave it there and go underneath, pull underneath out and pull it out and later we put it back on the same way. So if I undo them, the fuel keep coming out, all I have to do go underneath and using this one, the it's called the plastic flies. I take off the starter motor again. So I have to go out and my hand in here. So it's only one way to go. You squeak this one, see the see the input wire, squeak this one, squeak it on, like that, and you can start to undo it from there. And then that's it, that's how you replace your fuel filter, you need one of them. You stop the fuel coming out and then do there, and you can remove it out. It's loose, so now we can move it out. So they got one, oh my god, they got two, one bolt. Two bolts. This is so ridiculous. We got one on the top as well. One of the most punch on the jaw jobs. How re replace the fuel filter for this car. Now we can see your hand in number 10 to remove it from here. If it's up there in the car, no way. You don't have any hand to put in to remove this one. So I will write, I do the right way. So difficult this one. I won because okay, this one multi. You can go anywhere, so it's good. So I got in here and pull number ten. Pull it up. It's all right. I'm gonna put on the start up. Start it up. See how it like. See any fuel leak out before we go for a test drive with a new clutch. Maybe it will not work out because no pressure, no fuel in the in the fuel filter. 
so we have to do a few turns. new fuel filter would be good for them because they have complaining when they get hot it doesn't want to, don't want to start and that's how I replaced the class for Toyota Hi-Ace now it's time to pack up and have a rest